friends, we're going to start by singing a little song that I think you all know. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. I am going to talk to you today about Jesus teaching his disciples on a mountain. Grown-ups usually call this the Sermon on the Mount. It's found in the book of Matthew, and it actually takes up three whole chapters. But we're not going to talk about the whole three chapters. We're going to talk about a little part where Jesus helps us know we don't need to worry. In the Sunday school lessons, this is called Mountain Message because Jesus went up on a mountain to teach his disciples. Here is what it looks like if you have the Sunday school lessons. It's called Mountain Message. And Jesus taught them about lots of things. He taught them about marriage. He taught them about the law. He taught them about all kinds of things. But right in the middle, he said, I don't want you to worry. Because people worry about a lot of things and sin makes us worry even more. One of the things people worry about is what they're going to wear. And Jesus said, well, this is a picture of Jesus teaching the disciples on the mountain. You can see Jesus sat down and the people stood around him to listen. And that's the way they did it back in Bible times. It's not like now when we go to church and pastor teaches us, he stands up and we sit down. When we go to school, the teacher stands up and the kids sit down. Back then, the teacher sat down and the people who were learning from the teacher stood up and listened. And that's what happened in the Bible story. Jesus sat down at the top of a mountain and the people gathered around, stood around him to listen. And Jesus said, look at the beautiful birds that fly in the sky. They do not make clothes and they do not plant crops and they do not worry about what they're going to wear or what they're going to eat. God takes care of it. And you are more important than birds. And God loves you more than birds. And he said, look at the beautiful flowers that are in the fields around us. They don't sew clothing. They don't go and buy cloth and make clothing. They don't make it rain and they don't make the sun shine. God takes care of that. God makes the sun shine. God makes the water, the rain come down. And God gives the flowers their beautiful colors without the flowers ever worrying about it. So don't worry because you are more important to God than flowers. That doesn't mean that God doesn't love the birds that he makes or the flowers that he makes, but it means that God loves you and he promises to take care of you. And so we need to think about what does God want us to know? Jesus wants us to know that we are important to God. God will take care of us no matter what our worries are. So he doesn't want us to worry. And in fact, there's a Bible verse that can remind us of that. It's in 1 Peter 5, verse 7. And it says, the second part of that verse says, God cares for you. And in fact, the first part says, cast all your burdens on God because God cares for you. Way back in the day, a couple of years ago, there was a Bible verse song that was very simple, and it goes like this. God cares, God cares, God cares for you. First Peter 5, 
verse 7. God cares, God cares, God cares for you. 1 Peter 5 verse 7. So the next time you see a pretty bird, because the birds are coming out now that it's spring, I've seen a lot of cardinals with their beautiful red feathers and blue jays that are blue. Or if you go to a Grant's farm or to a zoo and see a peacock with all its beautiful feathers, think about how important those birds are to God and that you are more important. And whatever it is that you need, God is going to take care of it. He does not want you to worry Worrying doesn't help. God cares for you. Jesus bless you. Have a good week. Bye-bye.